this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's wonderful world! Today in this video, uh, it's quite exciting actually, I have a, a, a new guest in my treetop hotel, and that guest is right up here, and it's a pirate! Uh, this is Captain Morgan, and I got him in the uh, the last episode. Uh, when I say I got him, I was attacked by a whole load of pirates, and uh, once I defeated them, uh, yeah, Captain Morgan showed up at my hotel. So I'm assuming uh, he's a, a nice pirate and not like the uh, the other pirates that attack me. And uh, yeah, I can buy a bunch of things from him. Uh, what can I buy? I could buy a uh, a cannon, which is very expensive actually, 25 gold. Oh look, oh, it can actually be placed. I thought it'd be like a, a cannon that I carry around with me, uh, but no, I can actually place it and fire. It as well uh, as a whole load of pirate things. Right, I've got to buy the cannon. Okay, so step number one of this episode is to buy and play with a cannon. <laughs> and then I'm going to get to work actually uh, building uh, his own special room. So let's go and uh, gather up all of my monies then, shall we? So uh, I'm pretty much going to be spending all of it again. I wasted so much of my money recently and I've been slowly but surely building it all the way back up and I'm sure now I'm just going to go and waste it all buying things from the, uh, the pirate. But I've got to do it. Well, seeing as we are building a pirate place today, uh, I might as well I uh, go and uh, buy some some pirate outfits. And what's he saying? Yar! Funny ye should be mentioning parrots, because, um, what was it we are talking about? <laughs> I seem to have a, a bit of a pathetic pirate, to be honest. <laughs> I don't, anyway, let's go buy uh, a cannon then. Oh, that hurt. That hurt spending all that money then. Uh, I need some cannonballs. If I've got cannons, I need cannonballs. Let's go buy, uh, we'll buy 10 of these, and I guess I put them down here in ammo? Uh, nope, uh, I just uh, carry them with me, and how much money do I have left? 15 gold. I think this is going to be all my money, isn't it? Actually, yeah, that would be exactly all of my money uh, if I bought this uh, entire outfit, uh, so I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, because I do need some money for something else. But what I will do is buy at least a, uh, a pirate hat. There we go. Pirate Stampy Cat. Yaha, yaha, yaha. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the uh, the cannon for now. I'm going to try that out later. But first, uh, let's try and make sure that we get uh, Captain Morgan's uh, room ship shape. So uh, I was thinking of building his room up. Nope, down here. As you can see, uh, there's a bit of a, a gap here where there's uh, no room, and I think this would be the absolute uh, perfect place uh, to have a, a room for, for Captain Morgan. So uh, let's go and uh, fill this in. And uh, what I thought might be a good idea is uh, to use paint. Uh, so rather than trying to get a, a good background material, I can kind of use whatever I want. I could just basically use wooden planks and uh, then uh, just paint them. Uh, I'm going to paint them black and white, and I'm going to see if I can come up with some sort of a, a kind of piratey flag design. So uh, for starters, uh, let's go and uh, make some wooden walls. Actually, I might uh, already have some wooden walls, which would make things a little bit easier. And then, yeah, once I've uh, done that, I'm going to go and add in some pirate furniture. I did get uh, a few things, like I got a, a golden chair and a pirate banner, and a, yeah, a parrot banner as well. So I can put those in, uh, but I'm also going to see if I can make some uh, kind of piratey looking furniture. Maybe uh, one of those torches that has like a, like a skull on it, uh, I think would be quite piratey. So uh, why did I come here? I came here for something. You know, do you do that? Do you do the thing where you walk into a room and then you forget why you walked into it? I'm doing that in Terraria right now. I came down here. Wood! Wooden walls. That's what I was looking for. Uh, do I have any? Yes, I do. I have wooden walls. There we go. <laughs> I can go and grab these. And uh, anything else from uh, this chest look piratey? Uh, what's this? Uh, Eater of Souls banner. Uh, a sword. That's kind of piratey. Uh, the bars could be quite cool. Uh, let's go and let's go grab the bars. We'll take them with us as well, just in case we want them. But uh, I think I am going to need to, to make a, a few more wooden walls. Uh, but I do have uh, plenty of wood, so uh, that shouldn't be a, a problem. And that... um. That door that I just put down as well, uh, I also got that from fighting all of the, the pirates. So I guess it's a piratey thing. I guess uh, gold is a good thing. Oh, that would be a good thing. Is there any way I could make it look like he's got piles of gold? I could do a, uh, a gold throne or something. Oh, there's got to be more things I can build out of gold uh, just to make it look like that's the uh, the pirate's booty <laughs> piled up in the, uh, the corner of the room. As I know you're thinking, uh, right now the wooden walls don't look particularly spectacular. Uh, but don't worry, as I said, we're going to be painting all over them and uh, making them look more pirate. Uh, in just one moment. So first let me go and uh, make a few more wood walls. Well, actually, if I make a mannequin, I could put the uh, the mannequin in there and uh, then I could dress up all of the uh, the pirate gear uh, on the uh, the mannequin as that as, as if that's like a, like a spare costume uh, that he has hanging up. That could be quite cool. Uh, but first I need to find... Um, uh, do I keep going past walls? Uh, here we go. These are walls here. So I want to make uh, wooden walls. So what, what's this here? Uh, this, oh, this is ebonwood walls. Uh, they do kind of look a, a little bit 
dark. Actually, no, I need to do normal wood walls, don't I? Because that's what I've started using. <laughs> I might as well carry on. There we go. Just wood, standard, bog standard, normal wood walls. There we go. I've got 84. Uh, this will be uh, more than enough uh, to fill in the uh, the entire rest of this room. And uh, then I need to go and uh, pie, uh, pie? I need to go and eat a pie. And then I need to go <laughs> and buy some uh, black and white paint uh, so I can go and uh, paint it uh, in piratey colours. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do a proper, like, um... Uh, Jolly Roger style. I don't think I'm going to be able to add uh, enough detail, uh, basically because I don't think the room's big enough, uh, but I'm going to do that as close as I can. And there we go. I used up uh, all of the, the walls and it's raining again. It is raining non-stop right now. No joke, it was raining. Then it stopped raining for a few minutes and then started again. And then just as I was about to start this video, it began raining. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait for the rain to stop so we don't have the annoying rain in the video. And then it's now just started raining again anyway. So sorry, everyone. I tried to not let it rain, but it's just going to be rainy for the rest of the video. So I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> anyway, I knew I had some white paint somewhere. So let's go grab this white paint. I also got my paint roller and uh, my paint scraper uh, in case I make any mistakes. And uh, so now I just need to go and uh, buy some uh, black paint and I buy it from Bruno So Bruno, please give me the finest black paint that you have and uh, let's go and buy a bunch of this uh, Luckily, it's uh, relatively cheap so I can get quite a lot of this stuff uh, I am wasting once again more money, but oh well <laughs> uh, Let's see if this is um, uh, going to be enough uh, to do some decorating uh, in here And uh, how did I use the the paint again? It's been uh, a little while uh, since I last used it. How do I uh, decide? Uh, which colour uh, I want to be used. I don't put it down here, do I, in the ammo slot? No, that would be kind of ridiculous. I guess if I just put the black paint uh, next uh, to the, the paint roller, is it going to come out black? There we go. It's now coming out black. So uh, what I think I might do is then just once I've done the whole background black, I might just uh, put away the uh, the black paint and then I can try and do uh, the white design uh, on the uh, the front, uh, whatever design that ends up being. But look at this. It doesn't really matter uh, what wall I had because this has just made it completely black. Like this is, that could be any material I'm painting over now. That could be diamond walls for all we know. It just looks uh, completely black. And I've just realized uh, that I am running out of uh, black paint. So I am uh, going to have to go and uh, buy uh, a little bit more. I managed to get uh, most of the room done. But oh. There we go, look, <laughs> because I ran out of the uh, the black, I immediately uh, switched over to, to painting with the uh, the white. And I should hopefully uh, have enough white, because uh, I won't be using as much of that. Uh, but I do need to go and buy uh, a bit more black, uh, just so I can finish off filling it all in. So let's go and buy probably about uh, another 94. Uh, that will do. Uh, it's probably a little bit more than I need, but uh, always better to have uh, too much uh, than not enough. And I'm sure I'm going to be uh, doing more painting uh, in the future. There's actually uh, probably really cool designs that you could uh, use with this paint. It's kind of nice uh, just to have whatever you want whatever color you want without having to worry about I don't know trying to find a black material so here we go here is a uh, very black looking room uh, rather dull and bland at the moment it actually doesn't look too bad for a pirate room uh, but I'm gonna try and decorate it uh, with a little bit of this white uh, paint so if I put it here is it now gonna be coming white uh, oh no I've got to go in on the roller and there we go it's now white and uh, so let's see if I do um, Okay, so I need to try and make a skull and crossbone. So let's go. Let's go get the black paint so we can uh, let's fill that in for now. I need to try and uh, make a bit of a, a face then, I guess. So I guess it's whatever paint is next to the roller. Uh, so if I have one eye will be uh, here. So the black bit is going to be where the actual eye is, I guess. And have I filled in two blocks? There we go. So that's one eye there. Then if I do uh, this next one here black, let me switch these around again. Uh, let's do that black there. And then if I do white uh, right next to it. Uh, so I'm basically trying to have it so the eyes are black. You know, like the, the eye hole. So those are the eyes there. And so I can fill in uh, above the eyes like that. I'm just making a heart. This looks like my love garden. I could totally make my love garden in this, couldn't I? Uh, but that's not what I'm doing now. I'm trying to make a place for a pirate, not a love garden. So let's go and uh, fill in along here. And oh no, I think I need to do the entire thing uh, one higher up, actually. Uh, because otherwise, uh, it's going to fall off. So as I said, this probably isn't going to look too great. Just because I don't have much room. And I've never really done uh, any sort of pixel art in Terraria before. So let's just move the entire thing up. So the eyes are... Uh, oh, that actually looks okay with those long eyes. But then I wouldn't fit the, the mouth in. So I need to do the eyes up there like that. And then if I do this along here like that. And if I just do one black hole there, it's going to look a little bit like it's going, ooh, but it should look okay. Does that look like a, like a, <laughs> like a skeleton at all? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if I can add some stuff. Um, let me add a bit in there and there. And um, that kind of looks a bit like one. It, it's kind of a bit 
skeleton s i think that is the uh the best that i can do uh, with the uh the size of the room i have but let's go let's not leave it at that let's go and um uh, add in some some other things shall we we could add some we could add some red paint maybe it uh, might look quite good actually what color uh, what color clothes is older uh uh, um, Captain Morgan. So it's kind of red and gold. So yeah, that'd be quite good actually. Black, red and gold. So let's go and uh, buy some some more paint then if we can. So hello Bruno, I'm your number one customer today. Uh, so we got we got yellow, which can kind of be like gold. Let's buy a little bit of that. I'm sure I might use that somehow. And let's also go and buy a whole load of red as well. And let's go, I don't know, maybe do some stripes or crosses or something. Uh, might look quite cool. So I'll probably once again uh, bought more than I need, but as I said, I would rather have too much uh, than not enough. And uh, let's go and see if we can decorate in the uh, the background. It's quite dark in here still. Let's just put down uh, some torches for now so I can see what I'm doing. And let's go and add some. Let's do like some red stripes then, shall we? So if this stripe was going through the middle, it would have to start... Actually, let's do the stripe starting about um, here. Actually, no, if I do that, uh, I'm not going to be able to see it behind at all. So let's do... Uh, let's just do some... Let's do horizontal stripes. Let's do horizontal stripes along here and along here and they can go to about there and then i'm gonna have the uh, the, <laughs> the the skeleton which doesn't look like a skeleton i'm gonna leave that there and then let's do another long stripe along here splashing my paint all over the place uh, along to uh here i think and then let's go and get rid of that random bit of red and i realize that i'm kind of doing this a bit ineffective because i've painted it black then i'm painting over it different colors anyway uh, but i don't mind and then let's just do a, a couple stripes of a uh, gold or which is actually yellow uh, in this case down like uh here and then let's do the same on the other side so that's about three blocks out one two i think it's about there uh, actually no it's one further across isn't it so let's do that strike going down there like that and i realized that this doesn't look particularly piratey but i don't care i think it looks kind of cool and once we go and add in all the the furniture uh, it should look even better so there we go this is the uh, the backdrop <laughs> to the the room and let's go and get rid of my paint roller immediately uh, because uh, yeah i do not want to be accidentally painting over anything and yeah let's go and see if we can make some furniture well actually what i could do as I could put those banners uh, so they go over those gold stripes could look quite cool. So let's go uh, grab my two banners. So this is my uh, pirate banner I can put up here. And here is my parrot pad banner that I can put up there. Oh, I really like that par uh, parrot one. That looks cool. And let's see if we can go and uh, make some furniture then. I think I might eventually uh, leave the cannon in this room. Might be quite funny. Uh, I've got the, the mannequin already. So I'm going to put that right down over there in the, uh, the corner. And uh, I need to actually add in a, a table and chair uh, just so that he was even going to be able to to live uh, in this room so let's see which ones i want to do so these are oh, these are all the different work benches uh let's go and see if we can just do a um a normal straightforward table let's see if i can find where they are so those are chairs uh, what tables could we do rich mahogany pumpkin glass uh shade wood might be okay spooky oh a bone table Ah, I like the uh, the idea of a, a bone table. The bone of the pirate's enemies. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Right, let's go and uh, grab uh, as many bones as we can. So I've got I've got loads of bones. I'm filled up with bones. Too many bones, if anything. So let's go and uh, grab all of uh, these. And actually, a bone might have been a, an easier shape to, to try to make rather than the um <laughs> rather than the other uh, skull, which uh, yeah proved to be probably a little bit too difficult for me. I like it though; it's kind of like a, a cartoonish one, and I think that uh, fits me probably a little bit better than a, a better looking one anyway. So uh, let's go and see if we can. Yep, there we go. Make the uh, the bone table, and let's make a bone chair as well. Well, let's make two bone chairs, and then I do have uh, the uh, that gold chair as well anyway, where I can put separately. And uh, because I don't want to waste gold making a throne, I can just use that. So if I put the bone table there, um, oh, it's kind of like the the mouth of the uh, the uh, <laughs> the skull. It does cover it up a little bit, but that's okay. And let's go and put one bone chair there and one bone chair there. And uh, let's go and put the uh, other chair can be down here by the uh, the mannequin. And uh, let's go and get some more piratey looking lights. I believe by using the the bones, I can actually make those skull lights I was talking about. So let's go down uh, to where all of the the light sources are. Uh, these are all just different torches. I know you can make. Uh, like all sorts of lanterns and things as well. Uh, so let me go and see if I can find them. There's just so many things uh, that I can make now. It's kind of hard to find them. But here we go. A skull lantern. That's what I was talking about. So let's make uh, let's make a couple of them. And is there anything else? Any good dangling ones I can make? Jack-o'-lanterns wouldn't really fit in. Oh, I can make heart lanterns now. Uh, not very fitting for a, a pirate, but still uh, rather cool. Uh, no, I don't think there's uh, really any other ones that would uh, suit this room. Uh, so I can just kind of keep the, the normal torches that are on the wall there. And I can put uh, this down on here. 
And uh, is it going to let me place it on there, the little lantern? No, do I have to dangle it? Or does it have to be down on the, the floor? Oh, okay, no, it's just too big uh, to fit two of them on the table. So I'm just going to put... I uh, just have the, uh, the one of them in here. And uh, let's go and get rid of these torches. It's actually probably better... Uh, having it a little bit dull in this room. I think if it was too bright and lit up, it wouldn't be very fitting for a uh, for a pirate. Uh, so let's see how much money do I have left. Oh, I've got 10 gold left still, actually. I've still got enough to be able to buy the rest of that pirate's costume. So let's go here and let's go and uh, shop and uh, we can go and buy ourselves this. And uh, I'm going to dress it on for now, seeing as uh, Captain Morgan's already got their costume. And I have now completely wasted every single one of my gold coins. But... On the bright side, I now do look like a rather awesome pirate. So let's go and uh, try out that uh, that cannon then, shall we? Uh, let's go somewhere safe, a little bit uh, further away from my house. <laughs> and uh, let's find a safe place uh, to fire the, uh, the cannon uh, without destroying anything, shall we? That might be a good idea. Let's go... Um, up over uh, over here somewhere and find uh, a good place to, to plonk it down and uh, fire off a, a few cannon shots. I kind of want to uh, fire it off a hill or something if I can. Or I could actually just fire it into a hill and see uh, if it does any damage or if it's... Uh, I don't know if it will destroy the ground, uh, but it might do. Uh, I guess we're, I guess we'll see. This might be a, an okay place to, to set off the cannon. So let's go and uh, plonk it down. And I've never done this before, so I have no idea how it's going to work. And uh, is it going to not fit in here? How big is this cannon going to be? Let's place it down here. Here we go. Oh, look at it. This is cool. So how do I um, fire it? Uh, I'm pressing use and it's not doing anything. There's flying fish coming after me. Do I need to, to hold the, the cannonballs maybe and click them on top of it? Let's uh, give that a go, shall we? Whoa! That worked. That definitely worked. <laughs> Shall I see if I can hit this uh, hit this blood feeder with the, the cannon? Right, it's getting close and fire! Oh, no. Nope. Fire! No, it's uh, way too close. And do you reckon I can I can aim it? Do you reckon I can aim the cannon? What's this thing? There's a there's an angry Nimbus going after me. Go away, angry Nimbus. I'm being rained on by an angry Nimbus. Let's just fire laser shots in the air. There we go. Oh, what's this? A demonic Nimbus rod. I've never had one of these before. What's this? So many new things to play with. <gasps> Whoa! This thing looks awesome. Oh, look, I'm, I'm like firing down little clouds. Do the clouds like rain down? Oh, no, look. I'm making it really darker and more rainy. This thing is cool. It does 44 magic damage. And compared to my laser rifle, uh, which does 31. So it's pretty powerful. And uh, it also seems to be quite a good version of it as well. Here we go. Here's a slime. Let's do this. Oh, look. It absolutely destroyed it. Absolutely destroyed it. I can probably get... Look, I got the blood feeder as well. This thing is cool. Anyway, let's go and... Um, let's move the cannon and make it so it's firing uh, against uh, a wall. And uh, let's see whether it does any um, uh, actual damage at it. So let's go and place it. Let's place it down... Uh, let's place it down here, facing into this hill here. Uh, we're probably going to get a, a little bit of a grief from some of these uh, corruption googlies, but that's okay. Uh, I can I can deal with them when they come. But let's go and place it right down here, facing right against this wall and firing. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to actually uh, damage the uh, the train, which is good because that means I can fire it near my house and uh, not worry about it destroying absolutely everything. So uh, let's take it home then. And uh, let's go and place it down. I don't know how useful the cannon's going to be in a big battle. I guess it'd be good when there's waves of enemies coming. Say like when I was fighting the uh, the other pirates and they were constantly coming. If I knew where they were coming from, I guess I could have maybe used the, the cannon. But I don't think I can actually fit it in down here. I think this room's a little bit too crap, but that's okay. I can go and put it outside somewhere. And then if I have things uh, attacking, I can just go and uh, launch the cannon and try and take things out. Maybe it would even help me uh, when battling some of the the Wyverns or something might be quite handy. So let's just go and uh, for now, uh, place the uh, the cannon down here, shall we? There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Facing the wrong direction. No, cannon. Not that way. Is it? Does it face the way I am? If I face... No, why is it always facing that way? I do not want to shoot my very own house. Maybe if I'm moving in a direction... Nope. It seems to always want to be facing that way. So you know what? Forget the cannon. Forget the cannon. It is too dangerous. This, um... This uh, Nimbus rod, though, uh, seems really awesome. I think uh, I'm really happy with this. Oh, yeah, look, it does. It just makes it rain. It was kind of hard to see. Oh, no, fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. It didn't hurt her. <laughs> yeah, I guess we, we couldn't really tell uh, because it was raining so much anyway. But I guess if I just do these clouds, it's just going to rain down. And then anything get, that gets underneath it uh, is going to get hurt. 
And that seems to be uh, pretty awesome new magical items. I'm really glad I was able to find that uh, as well. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can try and get uh, Captain Morgan to uh, move into his uh, his new room then, shall we? So if I go and uh, stand here, and then if I press Y, and then go across to here, and then press uh, assign to room on uh, Captain Morgan, uh, here we go. Uh, he should now uh, be uh, assigned to live here. And by the looks of things, uh, I still have five more uh, guests to, to move into my house. So I guess I better start getting some uh, some more rooms ready. <laughs> uh, dear, anyway, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed seeing me building this pirate room. And uh, I guess what I'm going to do at the end of the video is I'm going to dress up this mannequin uh, with all of this pirate gear. But I'm kind of attached to it right now and I don't want to <laughs> get changed. And then in the next episode, I am going to go and I am going to do... <gasps> something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be jolly good fun. So yeah, uh, there'll be a link to that in the description uh, once I've uploaded the next video. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later.